now learn about reversible reactions, irreversible reactions, and dynamic equilibrium. But first, do you remember what reactants and products are? Well, for a quick recap, substances that combine in a chemical reaction are known as reactants. They are represented on the left side of a chemical equation. And new substances that are formed from this reaction are known as products. They are represented on the right side of the chemical equation. If you look at here on your screen, you can see the chemical equation of a reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. These react to form water. In this example, hydrogen and oxygen are reactants and water is a product. This is an example of an irreversible reaction. What does that mean? Well, it means reactions in which the products do not recombine to form reactants are known as irreversible reactions. They signify reactions that are complete. An irreversible reaction is usually represented like this figure shown on your screen. In this representation, the single arrow signifies the reaction is irreversible. This indicates that a reactant may change into the product, but a product cannot change back into the reactant. Now, there is another type of reaction called reversible reactions. These are reactions in which products are able to form reactants as well. These reactions never achieve completion. These reactions are represented using double arrows. They signify two reactions, the forward reaction and the reverse or backward reaction. A forward reaction is where the reactants react to form a product. A reverse or backward reaction is known as a reaction where the products change back into reactants. In other words, a reversible reaction is where a reaction may proceed in either direction, depending on the conditions. Take a look at this reaction here. The double arrow in this equation shows that the reaction may proceed in the either direction. Are you getting it? Great. Let's explore some examples of reversible reactions. We'll start with a reaction between hydrogen gas and iodine gas that produces hydrogen iodide. Here, the reactant iodine is purple, while the product hydrogen iodide is colorless. This means that the progress of the reaction can be observed easily. It is important to remember that not all reversible reactions contain color changes. Different methods are required to observe different reactions. Now, let's take a look at this image. In this experiment, hydrogen and iodine vapor will be placed in a closed flask. This flask will then be heated. The result will show the purple iodine vapor fading as it reacts with hydrogen to form hydrogen iodide. Isn't it exciting to see that when we heat this mixture of gases, we can see color changes because of the formation of a new substance. You will see a lot of this in chemistry. So remember, this reaction is termed as a forward reaction. On the other hand, once hydrogen iodide is heated in a closed flask, we'll see a purple color begin to appear. This shows the formation of iodine vapor. Take a look at this image on the screen. In this reaction, hydrogen iodide is the reactant and hydrogen and iodine are the products. This reaction is the exact reverse of the forward reaction above. These reactions may be written together as reversible reaction. It can be represented in the following way. Take a look at the screen. It can be written as hydrogen gas plus iodine gas. We will then place a double arrow. After the double arrow, we will write two moles of hydrogen iodide on the product side. Pretty simple, right? Just remember that the double arrow is what signifies that this is a reversible reaction.